how often would you say that you watch movies? Um, pretty often, like definitely more than TV shows. Probably once a week, like on the weekends or something like that. I watch movies very often, mm -hmm. just about every day. Probably like once every two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. Once every week, maybe, give or take. How often would you say that you watch short films? Not very often. Um, yeah, it depends like how short. No, not unless it's for a class. Have you ever considered like an interest in producing f films or movies? No, but I am in a film studies class. I think it's really interesting, but I don't want to do it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's something everybody's thought about, but never something I really took seriously. Not me personally. So we had to do one of a project that we did. So I, I guess I'd consider that a short film. It's a minute long. Where um, can you suggest people can find short films if they ever want to stream them? Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure. They're not really brought up as a topic of conversation very much. Most of the time people talk about TV shows or longer movies whenever they're recommending something to someone. Have you heard of the Volunteer Short Films Club? No, I haven't. I have not. I have not. Welcome back to Vol Talk. I'm your host, Ali LaRosa. Today, we'll be talking about Volunteer Short Films, a student club that works on producing short films. I'm joined by Treasurer and Secretary Elena Shubrashevsky. Elena, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Of course. So tell us a little bit about Volunteer Short Films. So we are a club that kind of, it's in the name, we produce different types of short films uh, all across, they're usually student directed, mostly student directed, student written, student produced, student acted. Um, uh, we also have a small division of radio dramas recently wow. added. Yeah, so okay. that's been a lot of fun. That's cool. Um, so what type of films do you create? Like what genres do you mostly go for? Uh, pretty much any drama a student wants to direct. Um, currently we have a, co a comedic spoof off of The Bachelor, for example, that's been okay. going, that's currently in production. So that's been, so comedy, uh, radio drama we've had is a uh, fantasy. Mm -hmm. um, it really just varies, uh, whatever gets passed and whatever's good to go. Yeah, so do you have like a favorite genre that you specifically like to work on or? I love fantasy. I was the fantasy person I was talking about. Okay. I, I have a radio drama currently going through. So Okay. Yeah. Um, but fantasy and comedy are probably my favorites. Cool. So how can people get involved with the program? Uh, we are a club, so pretty much reaching out to us via our email um, or uh, finding one of the officers. Uh, we also have an Instagram. Uh, and a TikTok that's currently under development, mm -hmm. um, but pretty much just reaching out, uh, finding us, uh, uh, and stuff like you know, Voltalk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, help people reach out. That yeah. Way too. So on TikTok, what type of stuff do you guys produce or just like make funny videos? Make funny videos, do very short films. Um, we currently have one person who's doing a collection of videos that are kind of back to back to back. Okay. Um, those currently haven't been released yet, but they're also in production and currently being written and such. Got it. Yeah. Well, hopefully TikTok does not get banned so we can oh. see those. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so do you guys have like club meetings or? Yes, we meet every uh, Tuesday at 7 p.m. at okay. HSS uh, room, I think it's 58. I don't remember <laughs> off the top of my head. You're good. <laughs> okay, so what do those meetings look like? Uh, oftentimes we start with a nice little PowerPoint just to discuss. Sometimes we have full on discussions about uh, different types of production elements mm -hmm. or what equipment to use. Mm -hmm. uh, some days we have just writing days where we all just kind of sit down and just work on scripts or directors talk to their actors. Some days we do have auditions in club. Oh, wow. Uh, it really varies. Um, so that's a lot, it's a lot of fun to kind of sh uh, to be told, hey, we're doing this today. Yeah. And everyone's like, yay. For sure. <laughs> Do you think that experience is going to help you, you know, like in your career field or? I do because I, I want to work in movies, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. Um, so doing a lot of short films and kind of getting my name out there and having different uh, sh like films underneath my belt will, yeah. I definitely, will definitely help me in the future. No, so. yeah, I will definitely agree on the resume. Exactly. I'm to do that too. Um, do you have like a favorite director that you've looked up to or? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, that might be a that, loaded that's a, question. That, oh, that's a loaded question. No, that's a hard one. Yeah. Um, no, because I just, I adore so many types of movies yeah. that placing one is just way too hard. 
I get that. I completely you know. understand that. I could not tell you a favorite. <laughs> right. Either. There's just too many. Exactly. Um, do you think being a female in the industry, it's like you're going into it differently, or do you think there are some advantage or disadvantages? <sighs> Sorry, that might be a loaded no, question. No, you're good because I haven't really thought about it. Like, I haven't really thought about like possible um, like disadvantage or advantages mm -hmm. of, of female in the industries. Uh, I know there are more women directors coming out. Yeah. You know, so there's a big, there's been a big boom um, mm -hmm. of like women produced films and stuff. Yeah. So I think, I mean, for seating design, you don't really hear much about seating designers. So mm -hmm. I really don't know. I, I hope, I hope being a female will be in either advantage or disadvantage. And that's mm -hmm. just an equal across the board. No, I agree. And I definitely feel like the industry is changing. And at the Oscars, there's more female directors. Exactly. So we'll see. But so you said that you like um, set design, or what do you like again? Scenic design. Scenic design. Yes. Okay, so what does that entail? So pretty much you are creating the world that your actors are living in. Okay. Um, this can range from building sets like straight up from the ground up, or you know, obviously for the movies you don't mm -hmm. build a house. You find a house and you place props and you mm -hmm. design it and such. So what I want to do is pretty much. Uh, and bring the characters into a new world so the okay. actors know where they are and know what they're doing type yeah. thing. Yeah. Does it ever get stressful like trying to find like the perfect set? Or oh create? yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's, there's always that one item that you're like I just can't find it or I just can't make it. Yeah. So it's always a little frustrating but like it's still fun once it mm -hmm. all comes together. Yeah for sure. What's like your favorite project that you've worked on that you'd say? Ooh, so I'm really new to scene design, actually. Okay. Um, so favorite project, I'm currently working on that spoof I was telling you about, about The Bachelor. Mm -hmm. I'm currently working on that. So I'm very excited um, to kind of work on that a little bit more and create, because, uh, you know, like for Bachelor, you had to have the scene where they're just sitting there and mm -hmm. you're talking to them. So creating stuff like that, uh, I think will be a really interesting, especially if we do it, uh, if we have like, specifics for each character, you mm. know. Yeah, and now I know you said that there's a lot of opportunities. Is participation limited, or how does that look? No, uh, come on in, uh, pitch your idea, and we'll start working on it. Um, oh, wow. There's, there's no limit. Uh, the only limitation is your imagination, <laughs> you know, that, yeah. that whole cheesy line, you <laughs> no, know. No, it's great, though. <laughs> so, no, there's, uh, we accept all members. Mm -hmm. Like, it's whoever wants, whoever has an idea, and they yeah. want to bring it to life, just Come on down. That's awesome. So how did you find the program? So I actually joined the voice acting club uh, first. There is a club here? Not anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> sadly not anymore. We merged with the volunteer short films. Uh, so that's where the radio drama comes from. It was uh, like okay. a radio drama club, and then it was a voice acting club, and then it became a uh, part of uh, volunteer short films. Okay. So, um... But yeah, so that's how I got involved um, because I was an officer of the radio drama mm -hmm. voice acting club. Okay, cool. So besides them, what organizations have you worked with? Uh, actually, it's just been the volunteer short films. I've tried. I've kind of kept it similar, small down uh, into just that to kind of keep a focus. Um, but I mean, hopefully, I get more into theater, uh, mm -hmm. like doing set design for yeah. theater. You know, there seems to be a theme. Uh, <laughs> but so I'm hoping with. Uh, to get more involved with just like the theater program here yeah. at UT and all that. So are you a theater major or did you take theater in high school? I have done theater since like middle school, but I'm also a theater major okay. with a concentration in design technology, which is a surprise, set design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just another wording. <laughs> right, just another wording. <laughs> That's awesome. So do you like it? I love it. Uh, okay. I love it uh, because like I've been on the stage my whole life pretty mm -hmm. much and all of a sudden I, I look behind me. I remember looking behind me one day as I was like on stage and be yeah. like, I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do the set design now. Yeah. Um, but no, it's been, it's been really fun and uh, I cannot wait uh, to start like just like helping with like Clarence Brown Theater and all that to kind of create, mm -hmm. you know. So between theater and film, do you think that there's a difference between the set design, like what it takes and what you do? Yes, I definitely think there's a difference. Okay. Um, mostly because with theater, it's more stationary, and you uh, you have like specific like this is kind of it that mm -hmm. you have like maybe four scenes total that you can produce. While yes. a movie goes all around, you have big action wide shots, you have mm -hmm. tiny 
uh, sad shots, which is just like in a bathroom, you yeah. know, like, it ranges drastically between yeah. theater and film. So. And you can make the set look different with the camera angles exactly. and all of that. So do you have a favorite film that you've worked on or? Uh, currently it's just been Bachelor, uh, okay. The Bachelorette, uh, so that's, uh, that, that's been it so far, but okay. I'm hoping to get more, uh, do more as things pop up. Yeah. Is it based off of this season or is it like just in general, like the it's, stereotype? It's this stereotype. It's okay. just a spoof. So no, yeah. it's, it's just the idea, <laughs> yeah. you know? No, I love that. When that comes out, I will definitely check it out. Yeah. Um, the show has definitely gone crazy for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite film? I have two. Does okay. that count? Yeah, uh, go go. On. I am a I, I am a big '80s type person, so I have to go with Jurassic Park. Okay. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. Um, and then uh, the first one, or just like oh, the first one. Yeah, no, okay. no, no. I, I I respect Jurassic World, but Jurassic Park is where my heart lies. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I um, get it. Because like the animatronics and then the CGI and then just the tension. Sorry, I can go on about no, Jurassic Park. No, you're good. Sorry, I realized you I'm like, can. Oh, you can. have the time. <laughs> um, but then the other movie that I love a lot that's like just my heart and soul mm -hmm. is Back to the Future. That's a good pick. Yeah. I love that film. Yeah. Um, I've been watching that movie for as long as I can remember, and it's just it. it if someone asked me, it was like, yeah. "What's your number one film?" Like, if it wasn't Jurassic Park, it had to be Back mm -hmm. to the Future. Do you say like the first one, second one, or third one? I I love them all equally, but I w if I could only watch one movie, it'd have to be the first one. I you agree know? with that. The second one, it was good, it but was it's good. like eh, it, it's not the first one. It promised me a hoverboard. In yeah. 2015, and I did not receive one, and it betrayed me. <laughs> you that know? is true. You got um, the little things that you write. I forgot what they're called. The I, the hover like. <laughs> you know, everybody <laughs> got them for Christmas. Yeah, but, like exactly. you write on them. Oh, right, the the, the two the wheels. Hoverboard. Yeah, they they call called hoverboards. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah, I know. They're not. No. no, or no flying cars. Exactly. Or disappointing. The, my mother was so disappointed when she didn't when they haven't invented the. Uh, you know when they put the pizza in and it like grows? Yes. My mother's still disappointed she doesn't <laughs> have one to this day. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry to get off topic. Oh, you're good. But faculty, is there a faculty member that like runs it all or oversees it? Or? Yes. Um, oh dear, I do not remember his name. It's okay, it's okay. I don't remember his name it's okay. currently. Um, but yes, we do have a faculty member okay. that, um, that uh, kind of just proctors and um, is there for mm -hmm if we need some uh, faculty yeah. support. But it's mostly just the students? It's mostly just student run. Like, it, uh, the club usually is just students, mm -hmm. so. Okay, have you made friends along the way, or? Yes, um, a lot, uh, some really close friends. Um, I was a bit, I, I'm still, but like a bit of a loner, mm -hmm. so I was really nervous going into this club, and it just felt so welcoming and so yeah. open, and I was just kind of pulled in like, I was a little reluctant because I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then they were just like, you want you want to be in here. Yeah. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. That's good. I'm glad. So the equipment, do you, like, get to rent it? Or? Yes. Uh, it's all rentable at the library, actually. Oh, okay. Yes. A lot of our mics, uh, cameras mm -hmm. kind of vary. Uh, there's recording studios that we use in the library. All of it's rentable. It's really, it's really cool really? how much is, is there. Yeah. Where's the recording studio? So uh, they are closer to the back. Um, if you go to, I believe it is the uh, right side. Okay. You, you know, like, so you have Starbucks and then yes. you keep walking down. It's the same size as Starbucks. If yes. you keep walking to the back, they have all these recording studios. I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. That is they're, good to know. Yeah. They're a little hidden. You just go and you, were, uh, you book, like you book uh, mm -hmm. a uh, study room. Yeah. So it's on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, like I didn't know it's I didn't really know that. fascinating. I've been in one of them recording uh, for another radio drama, mm -hmm. and um, it was really cool. Like, it's got a nice setup, it's mm -hmm. got a nice microphone, all that stuff is ready to go for you. Yeah. So, do you have like a career path that you, I know you said like set design, but mm -hmm. like, what's like your goal with it? Like, um, what would be the dream? I'm the happy. dream is to work at Disney and Universal. Okay. Yeah, one of the two, um, because I really adore theme parks. Yeah. So I want to build the sets that people walk through. Um, That's awesome. Or work on Broadway, okay. you know, or work in the movies. It's like, it's the surrounding idea that I will 
happily work at anywhere that mm -hmm. lets me. Yeah. But the big dream is Universal. Okay. So Universal Studios. So Star Wars or Marvel? How dare you? <laughs> I have to ask. <laughs> Marvel. Probably Marvel. Okay. Yeah. I Superheroes hold a special, like, you always had that one movie that you remember seeing first in the movie yes. theater. Mine was actually, Aven like, the original Avengers. Like, okay. the first Avengers movie. So, that was just, so I have to choose Marvel over, okay. over Star Wars. Sadly. I know, but. No, you're good. See, my first memory was Star Wars, but it was, like, really? the Obi-Wan and Anakin scene. Yeah. So, like, I just have, a, like, a faint memory. Fair, <laughs> Seeing him on fire. Yep. But that's cool. I'm actually, I'm from Orlando. Oh, really? So I go to Disney and Universal all the time. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so I got connections if you need them. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're <laughs> offering. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, I myself want to either go into film or mm -hmm. journalism and all that. So I think the film industry, it's changing. And I just think like, it's just, it's the same, but it's different. It's so like, it's competitive, but welcoming at the same time. Right. If you get what I mean? Yeah, no, I totally understand. Like the idea that you could, but you got to work for it. Exactly. You know? If you want it, the opportunities are there. Yeah. But if you're just going to slide your way, mm -mm. it's not going to happen. They won't be. Mm -mm. Um, do you have a favorite memory from all of it? From all of it? Just like in general? Or sorry, from the program. Oh, from the we program. Got, we got I distracted. Was like, from what? No, from Disney. No, sorry, we got distracted. <laughs> we got distracted again. <laughs> uh, from the program. Yeah. Ooh. Um, honestly, just the, the atmosphere of mm -hmm. the club meetings. Okay. Um, if that makes sense. Like, there's not one specific memory, but like going there and just having this really calm but yet excited environment mm -hmm. of everyone ready to like learn or to talk yeah. or to discuss um that is always really nice okay. and it's always just like a calming like i know where i'm supposed to be yeah no that's such a good feeling to have exactly yeah and i heard that you have yearly film festivals yes can you tell us a little bit more about that yes so we have like you said a yearly film festival yes. that you can submit any short film you've done no longer than 15 minutes because mm -hmm. you know we are students <laughs> <laughs> and um but the winner gets some uh get, gets a little prize a little mm -hmm. prize you know um <laughs> starbucks gift card <laughs> Amazon, but oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's fun um, because we just had this big, uh, like we just gather and we just sit down and watch movies and we give out prizes mm -hmm. and um, the, you can submit, like I said, any movie you, you, yeah. you've created as long as it's no longer than like 15, 20 minutes. That's so, awesome. It still falls in the category of short film. Yeah. Has anybody from here won? Yes, um, so it's mostly just UT based. Um, oh, so that's the biggest okay. thing is that it's all UT students. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you're competing against your own. Exactly. Oh, okay, I yeah. see. I believe it is late ish April is what we're what we're shooting for okay. right now. Yes. Is there an entry fee to? Nope, no entry fee. No entry fee. Nope, just submit, submit it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, huh. that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, cool. maybe I'll see. Maybe I'll see a little something from you or something. Ah, <laughs> I'm just I saying. have ideas. I haven't done anything. Oh, there's time. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Well, you know. Um. But so my last question mm -hmm. would be, to, what would you give advice, meaning like to somebody new to the program or just to yourself when you first joined, like a reflect. A ref sorry. <laughs> a reflection on like how you started. Probably my advice would be just jump in. Go in, uh, like, cannonball, be like, hey, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I was really reluctant last year and didn't do much. And I really regret it because there were so many opportunities I had mm -hmm. to join in, but I just, I, I was too fearful of failing. Yeah. That's the point of this club is to just do it. And if you fail, you learn, mm -hmm. you know. We have all these wonderful experiences of, like, be like, oh yeah, I did that. I can help you, mm -hmm. right? Or be like, I did that. It failed drastically. Let's do it again, you yeah. know? So I feel like just, and it kind of applies for everything, you know, if yeah. any club or anything you want to mm -hmm. do, just dive in head first and just see what happens. You know? I no. completely understand that. I came in as like a transfer student. Mm -hmm. So like when I got here, I already felt so like left out because I was like, oh my gosh, it's already a semester. But like, so I just went through for everything. Yeah. And it pays off. It pays off. And it, everybody's going for the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like 
you're just competing against like it's not even really competition there's no really you're not even competing in yeah. some cases you know you're just like I have this idea mm -hmm. and but it's up to you to do it you know yeah. no one's gonna tell you to stop or go anymore you know you gotta mm -hmm. you just gotta hop in and hope for the not even hope for the best just strive for the best yeah well, thank you so much for coming no here. Problem. It's been Thanks such great me. talking yeah. about movies. I could do this for hours. Right. <laughs> I love this stuff. But, well, that's all the time we have today. Elena, thanks for coming. Like I said, tune in next week for another episode of Vault Talk.